everywhere you see a little bit of beautiful Scandinavian design. So we're here at the uh, Volvo HQ. We integrated card holders into the dashboard so that you have your petrol and parking car at home. And a smart storage under the seats for a mini tablet or a smaller items. The trunk has been designed with a fold up floor to keep your shopping bags from moving around. And a hidden storage under the luggage. So, guys, this is coming. Okay, let's have a recap. You can put a full tissue box here. This is a removable bin, a dustbin. And then, ladies will love it. You don't need to throw your handbag on the floor again. Look at that. This allows you to hang your handbag. And of course, you need to have really dark tinting to be safe in Malaysia. Let's go have a look. Beautiful, huh? So the XC40 is fantastic looking. Beautiful, beautiful car. And design. So, and, and this car, as you may all have heard, is, has won car of the year. Not only because of how it looks, but because of the solutions inside the car when it comes to storage. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the interior very shortly, but, but going back to this car, usually we talk about sustainability uh, when it comes to this car, but since you all were so involved with the design uh, piece when you were uh, working on the project, mm -hmm. I think I'd like to show you a little bit about the car's design as well. Here's Robin T. Volvo Cars is celebrating the start. In the film that you're going to see here that summarizes a little bit of what I'm going to say, she's going to talk about the IAQS system, the interior air quality system. And what she says is uh, that if you choose it, uh, there's no choice, it's actually standard in all our cars, uh, which means that the air that you breathe inside the Volvo is always going to be cleaner than the air that you breathe in traffic or in city areas. Um, now, we have a laboratory here at Volvo where we do all of this, where we test it all, and because you're spending most of your time in the car, so everything has to be, you have to be comfortable. We actually had a gentleman here once, and he, he had made the comment that he suffered, uh, he suffers from allergies, and so one night he woke up and he, and I, I'm not making this up, I promise you, he woke up and uh, he said that he had to leave the house, take a drive, because he couldn't really, Exactly. So he sat in the car, turned on the car, and they said in a few minutes his allergies left him uh, because the car, of course, the windows were closed and everything. If he slept in the car, I don't know. Um, I don't know if he spent the night in the car, but he said his allergies were non-existent. Here's a short film that tells us a little bit about how we uh, make sure the interior of the car is as it should be. Creating a pleasant and healthy. No compromise. Again, I'm going to show you guys now. This is the architecture of the spa platform. So this is what uh, all new Volvo models will come. This is what this is underneath the XC90, the S90, the XC60, and of course the V90 and the 60 and they all. All right. So this is the uh, two-liter turbo engine. Look at that. That's a supercharger. Okay. Yeah, that's of course the transmission and then where's the turbocharger? I look for the turbocharger. Um, Alright. So, so that's the look at the orange color thingy. That is the uh, power train. And then uh, that's the electric motors. So, can't go on. The invention saves the most lives. I promise you're going to play that game very quickly. But I'll take this first. And you know, this exhibition changes because we have new models, we have new technologies, new functions. Yeah. But this never changes. This is always the same because it is still the safety invention that saves the most lives. And because we have guests here from various parts of the world, and people think very differently when it comes to the belt in the car. Now, I don't know what the case is in Malaysia, but I can say that in the United States, what are you going to say, Leonard? 
No, unfortunately we have a <laughs> <laughs> Put your feet here, Bobby. Okay. This is only five to seven kilometers per hour, Bobby. Are you ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> no, Bobby. Yeah. They're moving away. <laughs> All right, here we go. Walking distance. Yep. Oh. Oh my god. So going back to what Leonard said, imagine you have a steering wheel here, well not really, but you are sitting here with a baby in your lap, you have a collision at this speed and you're just holding on to a baby. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much, okay. even at this low speed, hmm. because you went like this, yeah. if you're holding a baby, the baby's head will also do that, hit hmm. the front of the, hmm. the... And then there's there's no more baby. Hmm. Yeah. Not because the baby was uh, because of the collision, but maybe the baby hit its head somewhere or, or jerked its head in the wrong way. Bobby, you seem very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> They're good seats. They're good seats. So, belt. Very. Just remember the safety belt. Uh, are you trying to adjust your seat? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't adjust. It doesn't adjust. It doesn't adjust. <laughs> I know. Elk. So you're going to be driving on a country road. You're going to come across these three elk. Mm -hmm. As soon as you see the first one, you have to hit the brakes as hard and as quickly as possible because that is how the system checks your reaction time. Mm. If, if you miss the first elk, then the game is over. Mm. But if you don't miss the first elk, then you get two more chances, and then we'll see if you're faster than three of our safety systems, okay? This is an automatic car, so it's just gas and brake. There's no oncoming traffic, just the elk. Do not oversteer, just keep everything on the road. Mm. Ready? Bay, okay, you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Full, full gas, everybody, all the way down. Full gas, all the way down. Good, perfect. Okay, Bobby, here they go. Make sure I have one. Okay, good. So now, when the game starts, it's going to take off. Keep everything straight. Here we go. Good, perfect. <laughs> Great. Now, when you see the first L, there we go. Back on the road there, good. Keep it on the road. Good. Good. Keep going. Good. Keep going, boy. Perfect. There we go. Now we're now we're moving. Okay, perfect. Now keep on. Airbags 20, anti skid 100. Okay. So now let me say this. What is your name again? Cherry. Cherry. The time that Cherry hit the brakes once, the anti skid had already checked all the wheels about eight times for you, eight times for you as well. Mm -hmm. It would have checked for you more, but we had stopped a little bit yeah. there. So, mm -hmm. but no matter, mm -hmm. they were both slower anyway. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the, and that's the slowest of the, the three systems. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Cherry, do you have an iPhone? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let me show you. Mm -hmm. This is a charging bracelet. So when you don't have your charger with you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you take off this bracelet, and then you can charge your phone. Mm -hmm. It has an S90 on the front. Mm -hmm. Do you also have an iPhone? No, Samsung. Do you have an iPhone back? Okay. That's an iPhone, isn't it? Is that a Samsung? Uh, a Samsung. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. And I'll get I'll, I'll get I'll get you another one. For no, you. Worries, no worries. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Leonard, you have an iPhone. Samsung. Okay. I'll get you one as well. <laughs> <laughs> So imagine I'm crossing the road, I'm mining my phone. Just want to make sure it captures me. Uh, that's one of our safety yeah. systems. And as I said, we offer, we offer yeah. safety systems online. Uh, because, 
an accident happens in a matter of seconds. And we as people are not that quick to react. Everybody had less than a second mm -hmm. in that test because you were all focused on the elk. Mm -hmm. But usually when we're driving, we're not that focused, mm -hmm. we're more relaxed. The car can handle situations that we are not able to handle. In our legacy models, we have two arm brake systems. We have city safety, it's our auto brake system in lower speeds, and collision board is our auto brake system in higher speeds. City safety, well, that works with infrared laser and reacts with the reflection of the paint and the driving plate of the car in front. The faster the pulses come back to the car, the closer this car is, that car, city safety will break without any warning. I go. Everything we do starts with people. It is who we are. Our vision is that no one will be killed or seriously injured in the new Volvo car that will be here 2020. We do this by taking a holistic approach to our development process. Our aim is to reduce the number of fatalities and serious injuries by using the latest and most relevant technology available and by developing new solutions where none currently exists. Runoff road accidents are a good example. Every year, runoff road accidents cause severe injuries and fatalities. Volvo tackled this type of accident in two ways. Firstly, by developing a preventive safety system designed to keep the car on the road where possible. And secondly, by creating a safe environment in the cabin for the occupants if a runoff road accident is unavoidable. By approaching real-life safety in this way, Volvo focuses on identifying the causes and minimizing the effects of accidents. With our next generation of safety systems, we aim to address other common and often fatal accident types. By understanding the nature of accidents, we can tackle the causes and better predict the outcomes. Volvo's new steer assist features identify and respond to moving objects from ahead and from vehicles that approach from behind when required, delivering an underlying sense of confidence and added control to the driving experience. We believe that the driving experience should be based around people's needs and the realities of modern roads and traffic conditions. Safety is the very foundation for everything we do. It always has been, and it always will. Mm -hmm. And we have bars here and here. So in a collision, what happens is if there are any collision forces left, they come back to the Volvo. Mm -hmm. And they go there, out to the other side, there, out to the other side. They're distributed throughout the entire car. So that those of us sitting inside the car are not severely injured. Mm -hmm. And that is because Volvo has had a reinforced side structure since 1991, which is called SIPS. SIPS stands for Side Impact Projection System. This is theory. Everybody, let's go talk about reality down here. Slippery, the driver lost control of the car, drove into the other lane, and well, the driver came in here to the side. Mm -hmm. And the, the person that sat here, his name was, and it still is, Samir. Mm -hmm. And Samir, he suffered just a very mild concussion, and he had some mm -hmm. bruises on the inside of his face. Mm -hmm. Now, Leonard, I don't know if when you were here last, if this car was also here. No, no, it was not here. But this is something that's also here all the time because this is where we summarize everything. Um, so what say is like that? If we go back to theory, the collision forces distributed throughout the car. It looks like what fruit? What fruit does the car look like? Fruit. Banana. Thank you. A banana. <laughs> banana. Thank you, Lena. Uh, the car saved his life? This also saved his life, the seat, because of these tubes. These are the SIPS tubes. In a collision, they're a function. Keep the seat wide so you sit there. But they also take collision forces while the driver's shoulder or the driver's seat. Side airbag protected his rib cage, the curtain protected. So the traffic accident research team, we've had them since 1970. Their job in a collision, go out to the collision, look at the accident, assess it. 
if and and if they can't make it out there, they have to be in the one hour window to bring the car here. But when they assess the collision, then they look at well, who was sitting inside the car, what kind of injuries did they have? Let's get medical records, let's check the road conditions, everything. They come back here so the safety cars can be built. And they reconstruct these accidents. They did so in this case. They invited Samir. Samir said yes. Here's the Samir Madra and a friend were driving north from Stockholm to Umeå one cold, slippery winter night in March 2003. In the pale light of dawn, the driver lost control of his Volvo S60, which skidded across onto the opposite driving lane. An oncoming car hit the Volvo's right side at high speed, just a couple of decimeters from Samir, who was a passenger in the front seat. safely it sent her a message and now she can have to meet it but th today we have park and pay with park and pay you can uh, if you're going to the city you know it's going to be hard to find parking uh, the car will find parking for you and the car will also pay for the parking and also let you know that your parking has run out while you're sitting in your meeting and then it will extend the parking time for you as well if you want but for this to happen and uh, we require changes in the infrastructure because the buyers know where the pickup drop-off zones are located, we also have to have enough uh, uh, parking in place and so forth for this to, uh, to be a possibility. Now, what we're looking at of autonomous driving cars, uh, so have a listen. Why do we need autonomous driving? Do we really want to let go of the wheel? Can we actually trust the car to take control? 
These are just some of the questions we get here at Volvo Cars when we talk about autonomous driving. My name is Mohammed. I work here at Volvo with autonomous driving. And for me, the reason to want autonomous cars is really simple. It saves lives. We believe that autonomous driving is a very good way for us to achieve our vision 2020. We know that accidents still do happen. To get rid of those accidents, we need to stop ending up in situations where accidents are unavoidable. We know that over 95% of the accidents that do happen are actually driver mistakes. Drivers get stressed, they get distracted, and they take decisions that can't be reversed. Will we be driving autonomously from door to door from day one? Of course, this is our long-term goal, and we will try to get there gradually. Our first cars, however, they will be driving completely on their own in controlled environments where we can make sure it's safe that we drive. It will be highway roads where oncoming traffic is separated by barriers. You won't have any pedestrians or bicyclists allowed. In these conditions, we will be handling the driving test completely and promising safety. The activation is really clear. You enter the function, you give control to the car, then you deactivate and take back control. I often get questions about the steering wheel. Will we remove it completely in the future? Well, for us this is very much a matter of freedom. If you want to drive on your own, you should have the steering wheel there and be able to do that. But if you activate autonomous driving, the car has been programmed to handle the driving. It has been tested over and over again to make sure it's safe. What happens if anything safety critical, like the computer, steering or braking, goes down in the car? Of course, we can't accept that this leads to some kind of accident. This is why the electrical architecture in our self-driving cars is completely different from the one we have in our normal cars. For everything that is safety critical, we have a backup that can take over if anything goes down and handle the situation. It's easy to focus just on the technology and forget that self-driving cars will be used by actual, real people. This is why we started the Drive Me project. In Drive Me, we will let real people use our self-driving cars in real traffic. We will collect data where we observe them, we will learn how they use the car, how they interact with it, what they do with their free time. This will help us design a car that people actually like. Autonomous drive is not just about safety. It will contribute to our lives in many different ways. I am sure that you will appreciate the time you get back in your daily commute. I know I will. Look through this one. This is where the cars slide in and within this chamber is where all the cameras, the lights, the high-speed cameras that captures all the crash. Yes, we cannot go in there. But this is it. Alright?